Amateur property investors see an estate agent's asking price, negotiate 5% off it, and congratulate themselves on getting a bargain. But this is a huge mistake because asking prices can be massively overinflated. We've looked at thousands of property deals over the last 10 years, so we know how to quickly work out how much you should be paying for a property. And here's how you can do it yourself in less than five minutes. So let's say this property on Rightmove has caught my eye. It's being marketed at £120,000, but how much should I be paying? Well, the first thing I do is go and find the postcode. Sometimes that's on the Rightmove listing. If not, I'll just go onto Google Maps, search for the address, if it's a long road, then this can be more of an issue, but luckily this is a short road, so I can just click anywhere on this road and get a postcode, which in this case is BL18BE. Next, I'll go back to right move, go to house prices at the top, then sold house prices, and I'll pop in the postcode. Do a search, and this is now showing me homes in this exact postcode that have sold in the past and what price they sold for, starting with the most recent. Here, I've got a few comparable properties within the last few years, which is great. If not, then I'd open this up to a quarter of a mile. So I've restricted my search to the last few years. In this case, I've got three that I'll open up. I wouldn't want to go back beyond 2019. So I'll now go into each one and see if they really are comparable. So on this one, it's got a floor plan. I can see that the floor plan is very similar, if not identical to the one that I'm looking at. So that is great. This one doesn't have a floor plan, but you can still look at the images to try and get some kind of idea. And this one has a floor plan. I haven't gone in to look at the measurements, but they're on there. It looks like it might be a bit bigger, but you would do that properly to see if it's the same or not. You can also look at the photos to get an idea of the condition of the property. So this one seems pretty much okay. This one, it's hard to tell because the images are blurry, but it doesn't look great. And this one, clearly there was some work to be done. So I've now got comparables at 80,000, 105,000 and 90,000 compared to this one at 120,000. The things you now have to factor in are time and condition. So prices have gone up since 2019, 2020, but by how much? This is something you can work out for the local area. If prices have gone up by, say, 10% over that time, then that might lift all of these by about 10,000 or so. Then you need to factor in the condition of the property, which is the hardest thing to do if you lack expertise. So you can look at this property and see clearly a lot of work needs to be done, but how much is that going to cost? I don't know. Is it just superficial or is it going to require a new boiler and a full rewire? I don't know. You can look more closely and look for clues. This process is only ever going to give you a rough estimate at this stage. But given that previously on the street, we saw a maximum value of 105,000. Maybe we upgrade that to 115,000 to account for property price growth in general. But then when you look at this property asking for 120,000, looking at the sheer amount of work that it looks like needs to be done to it, I am skeptical that offers over 120,000 represents a fair asking price. And you can easily see how if you manage to secure this property for 113,000, you might think you got yourself a really good deal, but you could actually, after factoring in the work, be overpaying. Obviously, I'd normally spend a bit more time on this and you'd want to do more research, but this is a really good first filter that's going to get you close. It's a really easy way of making sure you make a good investment every time. But there's another trick we use in our business, which helps to guide you towards seriously promising investments that most people have never even thought of. So watch this video next, and five minutes later, you can be using it for yourself.